you know, and um, this is going to be the Mi Arte podcast number 20. And um, before I forget, you know, before I let the whole night pass by and sleep with now, without, you know, doing anything, I just want to say that, you know, thank you, uh, Wilo. Thank you, Miguel. You know, sometimes it's hard to um, to see your, your process, you know, your progress. It's hard to see that. And when they, uh, they help you realize that, it's like, oh, shit. It's like they're right. You know, they, they help you um, say, you know what? It's not just art that you do, right? It could be, it, it could just, like, develop into another thing, right? It could just uh, help you get out of the fucking misery that I'm in, you know? Sometimes it just gets you down. But uh, having them, those cousins come over and then, you know, Take me out for, you know, to go munch, you know, because sometimes uh, we do that for each other, you know, we go out and we spot each other. But it's like, um, I'm more than just, you know, just conversating, right? I'm more like than just, you know, I really want to experience being with them, you know, I really want to make that moment of being together one of a kind, you know. Maybe not through pictures now, right? Maybe not through uh, photography, but through a vocal uh, recording and uh, and having them near me and just munching out with them was fucking great. You know, um, I do have some recordings. I will play them back for you. And um, you know, man, sometimes you just gotta talk to someone. You know, you just gotta like uh, reach out, man. You're not alone. You know, I just uh, you know, just let it out, right? Let them know what you go through, and maybe that's gonna help you. You know, for sure, that it helped me for sure. I feel way better. I feel like that's what I needed. You know, everybody needs that. Everybody needs that uh, person to talk to, right? Mm-hmm. You know, as um, he was mentioning a lot of things. You know, I'm really happy for both of them. You know, they're they're doing it. You know, they, you know, they have jobs. Not like me, I don't have a job, but it's like, fuck it. It's time, it's time to get a job. You know, it's time to get something going, you know. It's, it's not just make this hobby the first job that, I, that I'm doing. But, um, you know, let's, let's, let's get some money, right? <laughs> but it's like, there, there, there's this hype, right? There's there's that like uh, energy that's like, fuck, they're getting money. You know, people are getting money and, you know. How did you start it? And when when it comes to me, when I get money, it's like fuck. Let's add money to the art, to the art fucking section, right? There's like let's get some materials to to do some art. And you know, I've been spending a lot of fucking materials. You know, I've been spending a lot of canvases, a lot of painting materials, brushes. And it's always nice because you see the artwork that I'm surrounded by, all my money that I'm, you know, that I work for, and all the hard work, right? Um, I'm looking around the room and it's like, oh shit, it's hanged up in my room, so that's pretty nice. <laughs> and um, you know, everybody has a different spending hobby, right? Everybody likes to uh, go out and I don't know, just everybody has their own gustos. But um, you know, it's always nice that it's like they're sharing their ideas, man. When when they're sharing their ideas, <laughs> and and it's like you know what, you never see that in other people, and especially when they're close to you, right? When they're sharing their ideas, you know, and when they see like they're able to make something out of like just by simply just having this small idea in bed where you can't really fucking go to sleep like i was saying i started this pod- this uh this podcast 20 the number 20 saying that uh, my intro the first intro because this is like the second recording that i'm trying to do for sometimes i fuck up and try again i was saying that there's nights where um you know there's nights where you can't go to sleep you know you just feel weird there's nights where it's like you're just thinking about death and shit like that, right? And there's nights where it's like, fuck, all, all you think is about good ideas and good ideas, man. It's like, ah, oh, shit, you're just overthinking these ideas in your mind. <laughs> and it's like the best thing to do, man, is just to go out and, you know, write them down, dude. And then after you write them down, man, the next step is easier, right? Is to actually do them, you know? It's gonna be this roller coaster of pure good ideas, man. 
And you're gonna have to like fucking sustain yourself to that good idea, dude. You when when you already that, got yourself you set up, in the and all you, you gotta do is to flow with it. You know, all you gotta do is maintain your focus on it, that. right? And um, uh, so far my focus is kind uh, of out of hand because no, no, so many shit is happening. Beat, you, you know, there's the all this fucking bullshit going on. But um. You know, the best thing to do is not to give up yet, because uh, it's the process. You know, it's not going to be finished in one day. You know, this small idea is going to eventually be this fucking feeling of, of thrill and just fucking. I don't know what. I don't want to put this imaginary fucking world in your brain, but it's going to be this fucking sick ass ride where it's going to be that fucking magic, you know, spark. That fucking yeah. Tinkerbell just fucking lights up, you know. And, um, you know, man, it's going to be this fucking wild ride. And you're going to see, it's like, all right, when you start it, you know, it's nice. You know, it's nice to get it done, right? It's nice to have have, have something now. It has to have, it's nice to have something where it's like, it wasn't there before. And it just fucking sparks up, man. It sparks up. And when your idea is fucking physical not physical but like visual when you're seeing this small idea becoming a visual uh action you know it's like oh shit you know it's like all right you know it's like you're fucking on hand right you're you're on this fucking level of saying you know what i'm not just crazy you know, these good ideas you know do come to me and it's like you're making them work right you're um you're you know you're giving this life to this fucking you know of this idea and I don't know what else to come up with but you know la idea se convierte convierte en una flor we es una una cosa bien rara que cuando estás durmiendo y no tienes nada y no puedes dormir porque tienes las ideas bien chingonas que vas a crear tu 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 propio negocio como si fuera empezando vendiendo zapatos o vendiendo algo y ves que, o creando un grupo de un movimiento, ¿no? Estás haciendo algo que ayuda a la otra gente igual. Y you no, know, o te estás ayudando tú mismo. Y vas viendo que te está ayudando, güey. Que te está poniendo las pilas. Que esa idea no fue una idea bien tonta, güey. Que no nada más. Todos, bueno, todos tenemos ideas, ¿verdad? No todos piensan como tú. You know, not everybody thinks just like you. You know, there's people who uh, grab those ideas and just like, boom. I know how to manifest it. No, I know how to fucking, I know how to work those ideas. You know, it's like not everybody knows how to work them. You know, you might get like a hundred good ideas, you know, and you, you're going to have to fucking learn how to pick which one and which one and get it done. You know, and then bam, don't let anything get through your, through your mind. You know, don't let everything get stuck into you. And there, there's so many shit that your mind just fucking poison you, poisons you, you know, as you, the only person is going to poison you is yourself before you start poisoning yourself with other people's fucking um, words or shit like that. Or just like phrases your fucking, you know, mind just cap captures and tells you to try to bring down yourself. So, so, um, so basically, you know, um, I was listening to Wilo, you know, I was listening to Miggy Smalls, I was listening to my cousins, and, you know, you gotta let them talk, man, it's like, yeah, I am the oldest from these two, right, and um, I'm like, you know what, I gotta, I gotta let them talk, I gotta let them talk, you know, I'm not gonna interrupt, and although, you know, they, they fucking describe me as an alpha dog, I'm like, you know, I'm not an alpha dog, you know, I'm, I'm open to your ideas, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm down to listen, you know, I'm down like to sh shut the fuck up and it's like, I don't want to be a dick about interrupting you and, oh, you want to do all the talking, no, fuck no, it's like if you're able to, um, maybe we don't have to keep eye contact, but deep down, you know, like, you know what, you're in the right direction, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're just fucking, you're killing it, it's like, you're, you're fucking right, it's like, yeah, that's nice, you know, and maybe that's a good example for me to get up and actually get something going. You know, I've been working on this shit, and it's like, uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's um, uh, how would, you, how would I describe it? It's like, I'm, I'm getting, like, I, I really don't know how to explain that, but it's like, 
just knowing that they're that they're they're doing good right because sometimes um you know just 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 seeing them that they're enjoying their themselves and the time that there are you know around them it's fucking sick you know it's like you know it, it never used to be like that you know it's like it never used to be like fuck these guys are cheerful these guys are fucking happy you know I'm getting a, a little bit sentimental about it, you know, man. It's like that's how I am, I guess. But just seeing that happening and knowing that they're not clashing, right? They're like fucking, they're like somehow brothers, right? They're like connected to each other so much that they have confidence in each other. It's, it's fucking amazing, you know. I I like it. it it's something weird because I'm not really uh, like, you know, I, it, it. I don't know, man. I don't know how to describe it, but it's beautiful, right? It, it's wonderful. You know, those are some words that I'm throwing out there so I could like remind myself that it's fucking gorgeous to have that around, you know. Uh they did end up um buying me some of those uh canes chicken finger or something. I don't know that fucking restaurant. I'm not much about I'm not much about going out, you know, about uh munching, you know of what's, you know, being popular and everything, but I kind of um Gave out my, you know, my, you know, my opinion about the food that I just munched on, and it's giving me this vibe of, um, or just giving me the energy of being on the mic. I guess it's pretty good if it's providing some good, um, focus and some good, um, you know, it's keeping that energy burning of that, uh, positive ideas, I guess. And, um, you know, man, I had a good time, you know, I'm kind of like fucking, you know, just, wondering if they're home safe you know it's like you know they just left a couple of minutes ago and that's something that i have you know it's like oh, make sure you send me a mem when you get home because they like that shit <laughs> you know but it's like i like that shit too but it's like just to make sure they're home you know we don't have to say hello just send something funny there where it's like all right you're home for sure right it's like you're not gonna be sending me this shit on your time off sometimes yeah sometimes no and I can't say that, you know, you are or you're not, right? But um, I am going to check up on them and make sure they're they're okay. You know, they're okay safe, at, you know, for now at the moment at their house or at their home, their bed, right? Uh, it's just something beautiful, you know. I just fucking, I admire why, why those fucking energy right now. It's like, it's like, whoa, man, it's like. You know, if someone's looking up towards my art as like, oh shit, I admire you. It's like, um, I, I wouldn't see that as like, oh shit, I admire your work. Because I know where I'm going with my work. You know, I know where it's taking me. I know how I got to be with, I know my position of how, how the person I have to become to, 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 to do that artwork, right? It's like, it's not like, oh shit, you just do it on your artwork, right? But when, when someone mentioned when we were like eating and, I, something about hey omer right it's like oh shit that shit sounds fucking wicked it's like oh <laughs> it's like it's like he's about to expose some sick ass ideas you know it's like oh, i'm ready for it you know i'm gonna pitch it back at you because it's gonna be like not pitch it back at you as in a bad way but it's like all right you're gonna express yourself you know what i'm gonna give you the most honest and um i'm gonna give you my you know my my my, my respect right i'm gonna give you one plus out of my respect right if we, if we see it as in levels of uh respectful mode right if you're a creative gamer you're gonna see okay gain, gaining one respect for this character right but uh just to keep it more realistic you know it's like giving him the respect the space that he needs for for himself to express you know not everybody has that confidence right it's like you wouldn't be exposing your not exposing anything but or like um being confident around someone that you're so used to around right it's like it wouldn't it wouldn't like get you anywhere right where it's like you're you're trying to like go somewhere right you know it, it's just different when it's like someone's doing something right and when someone's creative it's like you know when someone's creative and you are you're sharing your ideas uh, it's like definitely when you're a family member you're not going to be abusing of their ideas that you know what i'm gonna take your idea and i'm gonna use it for me and it wouldn't be in that way it would be in a way where, you know, you're helping me getting through this fucking project that I'm getting done, you know. And what they don't see, man, is like when when you when they help me get motivated, it's gonna help other people to get motivated too, you know. Maybe the people around me is gonna see me 
being active as in the way where it's like you know what you know because of your your hard work in in your own life and your own mentality and, and to see that you're not afraid of fucking failing because you're getting it done you know you're gonna domino the, that effect on me and and i'm pretty sure it's optional for the people to look at it and say you know what you know you know what man i think you're right yeah, i think you're right when it's like you're you're in that something that's like not love yeah no no it's amor que that fires you no it's not it's, it, it wasn't that it's just uh the energy you know it, not not even i don't even know if it's energy or not but their their natural being you know their natural being of growing up in this fucking world is, is like motivating you to to do something and to clearly see your mind that it's, you know what man you, you you're you're going to that spiral you know it's about it's like you're not you know you're not gonna go in there by your you're not gonna go down there in that path you know you're gonna you're gonna see what i'm doing and it's like oh shit you're right so what's my version what's my version of going up in that way you know it's well as an artist it's just a different way you know i do have these ideas of um you know that's just me you know just being selfish and shit and i could go in that direction too but i was amazed i was amazed and and all that shit he was talking about i was amazed in in the topics that he was coming up with you know i was amazed how um how he was just talking about his parents he was talking about his parents man i was amazed by how and it's just amazing that um the topics are he he's coming up that it's like oh you know what uh i'm gonna keep that on his own you know um vo- i think i uh, i recorded him just talking on himself and that's fucking special you know that's special that deserves something you know that not not money but that deserves some of my attention you know some of some of my focus has to go towards that direction you know because i know in that recording of his 12 minutes of uh, set i call it a set whatever his 12 minutes 12 minutes of uh just recording is gonna be fucking sick you know maybe where it's like someone's gonna appreciate what he is for what he is you know what is it that he's achieving you know it's gonna he's gonna someone's gonna fucking flower that someone's gonna water that fucking flower for him you know it's like you know sometimes you like i don't know just bringing up a weird ass example out of my fucking brain ass brain you know it's like there, there's people who grow a flower you know there's people who grow a plant and it's like you know what check out my flower and you're like yeah, all right i'm checking it out but you just have that natural ability of watering the flower for him kind of you know you're, you're helping that flower to grow and you're just like oh shit you know it's kind of like our our flower you know it's not so possessive about it right not so possessive but it's like you know what that that was a weird act right that's a weird act of naturalness that only you can produce right it's just something really something really wicked you know something really fucking strange and magical it's like oh shit it's like i didn't know you were like that it's like oh fuck you know i didn't know they're like that you know you know sometimes i'm not seeing them for a long time and it's like when you see something like when you see happiness through your own eyes and it's just gonna fucking want you like to tear up i mean if you're like me an artist who was always like fucking in this fucking you know feelings and shit whatever right or maybe you're just thinking some random bullshit you know I gotta drink some fucking water. I'm tearing up, man. Tears of joy, but I'll be back. I'm gonna go get my fucking, my fucking raspberry soda that they brought me. Those fucking punks. <laughs> be back real quick. And um, do it. It was just fucking a weird, a weird uh get together, you know. You know, it was a it was a sick ass get together. You know, it was a weird time. It's been a long time. I haven't been in the car. <laughs> You know, it's nice. It's nice to see them that they're doing it right. You know, I'm really happy for them. You know, that's fucking sick. You know, that that's fucking nice. You know. And it, it's nice that they're also finding a way to um, explain themselves. You know, it's like, oh, given their knowing that they have opinions, right? It's like, it's not always being like, oh, shit. You know, they're not being... I don't know, man. They're just being 
natural humans right everybody everybody's a human just like them you know it's like i don't know man it's like when when you're just explaining shit um you just know how to communicate you know they're learning how to communicate way better yeah and i guess just being socialized being social and shit like that yeah, you know how to socialize and shit like that. i don't even fucking know they're fucking wicked you know that was sick you know so um you know i don't don't really know what to do right now you know i really have that you know i just finished eating with them that was fucking great you know i i just just want to do something you know i just want to like you know i just want to do something creative you know i just want to spend hours and hours in creating right now i have that fire in me you know when you have that fire that fucking you know that nasty feeling and, and you say you know what fuck that you know just all right and just, just tell yourself all right i'm gonna be up the whole night just doing something then go for it you know and that's what i gotta do right now you know i have to uh it's either just helping coming up with some good ske- 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 sketches or whatever or getting the room clean you know yeah uh, i hate to do it at past 1 a.m already you know, it's already gonna be two, but it's like you know what? Fuck it. Let's, let's do something. You know, it's like there's fucking people stressed out, not not knowing what to do right now, and it's like you, you know, when you're one of them, it's like fuck it, let's do it. I really don't want to go downhill, but it's like fuck no. You know, I, I don't really don't want to be downhill, downhill over. You know, it's like hey over. <laughs> it's like dude, let's let's do something. You know, I have that fucking. You know, I, I, I fuck man. I gotta get another podcast going with Wilo for sure, you know. <sighs> Fuck, man. You know, de stress yourself, you know. You know, man, just people need people sometimes, you know. You know, um, you're going to see yourself in people sometimes, man. It's like, if you have the guts to say hello to a stranger, just because you're, you know how you are, because um, when you just want to create a random conversation with uh, with people or with society, they're naturally going to s- respond to you if you're just like the same person like them. Like, if you're able to, like, make a conversation to a person who's out there talk to talk to they're gonna respond back as like you know what i am gonna be giving you a response you know it's like well this is the way i see it and and when you open people's minds like that when you talk in a way where it's like you know what i'm uh what do you think about all this right when you when you like my cousin was saying when you ask just any question right when you just start off uh you know by just when you when you want to break the silence basically you're going to come up with so many questions, right? It's like you're going to just question about yourself. You're going to question about the society. You're going to be questioning about your, your your art. I mean, your hard work. You know, and, and you know, man. And it's like, you know, you sometimes people needed that. You know, people. I was saying earlier, too, when I was talking to them. It feels fucking sad, you know, that everybody's munching in their cars, right? It's like. This place was fucking packed, you know, the Canes area, over there by uh, Firestone, I think, Firestone was it, and it's like, you know what, it's fucking sad, it's fucking sad that they're all munching in their car, because that's the, the mood that, that I was in, you know, because that's the mood that I needed for me to do art, and they were like, munching in their cars, and I was like, you know what, you know, we took we took those times where it's like we're in, in, inside the restaurant munching with people and and just hating people for looking giving us that fucking look and shit like that but it's like i, I bet you anything that's like people are gonna come back more socialized more social than that they used to be you know this whole quarantine shit is gonna make people talk more you know it's gonna make people not be be afraid of talking and shit but when when you're not afraid of talking, man, it's like you're not afraid of fucking failing. You know, you're gonna be 
you know, you're going to uplift yourself to the point where it's like, you know what, man, I think everything you're saying, I don't give a fuck, but <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, you know, it's like, you know, I just got to start doing something, you know, I'm just being on the mic being stupid, you know, but um, I'm going to leave the recordings of Wilo for the last part, you know, um, and this is how I went, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave all the recordings that we did while we were eating canes, uh, rising canes or whatever is it, whatever it is, raising canes. I think like canes as in those metal working machines, but I don't even know. But um, no, I gotta fucking just do something. You know. If you have an idea, go for it, you know. What can you lose from a good idea, you know. When you have an idea, you want to write it down, dude. This is, this part, I want, I want to work on a poetry section on the last part of every podcast. <laughs> but when you have an idea, seriously, write it down. You know, when you have an idea, dude. Um, record it, you know, record it down. If you have an idea, uh, paint it out, man. If you have a, if when you have a good idea, um, talk about it. You know, when you have a good idea, dude, take a deep breath and give yourself that good idea again. You know, it's like when you have that good idea again, man, and you're going to create a garden in your fucking brain, you know. That's what it is. You know. Just fucking brain of a garden that you have. That it starts from, like again, from anything. And just giving it a little slight of time where you stop and think. When you're doing something and you're like, alright, I got to keep watering that idea. Eventually, yes, it is a do. It is becoming something, and yet you're maintaining your conscience clean, right? You're you're conscious about it. You know, you're you're reopening your eyes kind of twice, right? You're you're opening your eyes twice wider. You're 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 getting that correct sunlight. You know, you're watching the movies that you want. I don't know. That was out of the. <laughs> Watching the movies that you want. What kind of shit is that? Fucking mierte. But man, it's like to keep it short and simple. You know, when when you're when you can't when you when you can't fall asleep and you have good ideas, dude, do something about it. You know, don't ju- don't just wait until someone comes up with your idea and you're like bitchy about that. They're they're coming up with your ideas and your shit. And they don't know how to manage it. You know what I'm saying? It's like the only person who knows how to manage that is gonna be yourself, bro. It's like that's gonna be the person who's gonna gonna be the person who's gonna. All right, this is happening when when this is happening, right? And you're ha- you're watching it happening. I really don't know much about creating good ideas, but it's like when I have a good idea, I make sure I I do something about it. I record it. I record it. I record it on a paper. I know. I grab a pencil. You know, fucking quarantine's fucking me up. <laughs> I write it down. You know, I write it down and, and I keep myself focused on it. If I feel like it's the, it's gonna be one of the greatest paintings of my version of my life, I make sure I just, I sketch it out. I draw it. I make it digital. Make it real. You know, just, just make it real. I guess make it real as much to the, you know, s- stop. I gotta tell myself stop. Let me let me start living. You know, let me let me give my the reason to uh, look at trees again. You know, let me. It's like, yeah, anybody. You know, it's like, you know, I've seen you know videos where people is like, oh shit, they they saw trees for the first time, and it's like, you know what? When I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. It's like only only only, only you know. You know, it's like. You know, it's like, this is just going to be a pre-recording in the past. You know, you're only going to be in your own moment, bro. It's like, well, 
you know, just limit yourself to what you want to hear to, right? It's like you're not going to limit yourself naturally. You know, you're going to force yourself, all right, stop it right there. Uh, let's move on, right? But to other people who are, you know, just listening and then I don't know what else is, you know, I think I just said everything that's important. You know, it's like, I don't know, you know, are you worried about me fucking up talking? You know, you know, you wanted me to talk shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> are you wanting me to say some random shit? Are you just wanting to listen to someone talk? You know, it's like, I would love to listen to someone talk, right? But it's like, nah, it's not worth, like, listening to someone talk if they're not really special. You know, they're, they're not special. Or if they're a friend, I'll be down to uh, hear them talk, you know, it's like. But if they're, like, just a random people on YouTube and just, like, you know, like a podcast and they have all the listeners in the world, it's like, you know, they got all the listeners already. They don't need another one, right? And that's the way I see it. And it's like, you know, they're coming up with podcasts left and right. You know, I'm not going to be announcing them oh yo check out the latest one you know just letting myself be the person that i want to be and not really like push it right but yes push the fucking you know push the creativity right just give it a push man uh it's a first time man give it a little more push you know <clears throat> and yeah and that's how it is, man. It's like, once it's all out, man, it's all stress-free. You know, it's like, oh, fuck. There's something about talking for a long time, not because you're nervous. You know, it, it's just relieving. You know, it's just relief. You know, it's just like, fuck, man. And it's like, maybe you're not saying anything important. But at the end, it's like, fuck, man. It's like, I don't know what else to say. But it's like, relaxing. You know, you're enjoying the music in the moment. I got to raise the music a little bit more just to make sure I'm I'm alive. You know, just to make sure that, you know, I was alive, you know. You know, just to make sure that it's like, fuck it. You know, I, I did something yesterday. I did something last night that's going to help me and say, you know, let's make another one. You know, I could do that otro. You know, let's make it another one, you know. And, um... If you're if you're just like wondering about your own life, man, get yourself started doing something. You know, just you know, no one taught me how to paint. You know, no one taught me how to do digital art. You know, no one taught you how to handwrite. Well, third grade, yeah, <laughs> but you know, no one taught you how to do all the the things that you know how to do. You know, it's like fuck it. You know, you you gotta take some credit in what you do, right? It's like fuck it. I I, I learned how to. I learned how to do digital art because I taught myself how to do it. You know, maybe YouTube did teach me, but it's like I'm not gonna, I'm not going to give YouTube all the fucking credit. You know, it's like I did learn some things off YouTube, but it's like I'm not going to say all oh, YouTube was there. You know, when I was your age, you know, YouTube taught me how to do that. Nah, fuck no. Fuck no, you know. You know, it's like YouTube wasn't even around when I was learning how to... Well, it was around, but I, w I didn't know about it until, like, later on in high school, I think. YouTube was there, but it didn't teach me how to paint. You know, it didn't teach me some patterns. You know, I wasn't taught... You know, YouTube didn't teach me about all uh, these channels of art that they had, right? It's like, they're not... They're not going to be helping you, dude. It's like, this company doesn't give a fuck about you. But they could help you enhance your shit, right? It's like, you could definitely a piece of all these fucking websites to help you make way a better version of yourself you know they do have music man it's like if you're able to like just search up the music that you like and helps you getting some shit done fuck it put 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 that fucking site and let's put some fucking music and just get some shit you know get some caca done right huh? you know and and you know, there's, there's times where I just look up some random shit and it's like, it's not helping me do anything, man. It's just helping me become a couch potato, you know. You know, man, it's like, that's getting me nowhere. You know, that's that's not me. It's like, what? That's what, you know, this country wants you to be, dude. They want you to be a couch potato. You know, I want you to be, you know, everything. You know, I'm not even sure. I'm, I don't know nothing about politics. But that's the fucking Trump life, man. It's like, 
<laughs> that Trump life of being a couch potato and just, you know, just whitewash bullshit, right? Just that fucking, you know, just believe in whatever you want to believe, right? That's bullshit. It's like, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's the Trump life, bro. You don't want to be part of that shit. <laughs> you know, that's that's like the ghetto version of their of their good life. You know, it's like, fuck no. It's like, they're not seeing the real struggle. You know, they're not seeing the real, the realest people that are who are out here. And it's like, you know, th- there's someone who's got to fucking help you be, you know, you got something to say. You got, you got to, you got to say, you got to say something, man. It's like, tienes que decirles algo, man. It's like, you got to say something on the mic. You know, it's like, you know, you know, when you pass out, you know, when I pass out, there's going to be some fucking artwork that say, you know, fuck, fuck them anyway. You know, fuck those fools. You know, it's like, but am I like, uh, wanting, who, who, who besides, you know, Trump do I, I don't, I don't even fucking know. It's like, no, I don't even know, man. It's like, one thing for sure, I'm not for them, you know, right? I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be supporting them, right? It's like, no, fuck no. Al contrario, you know, if, if I'm going to, advertise them is gonna be the opposite <laughs> it's gonna be his head with some shit on it you know but um i just gotta remember you know i just gotta remember the shit that's more important to me right tell myself that's gonna be what's more important to me and that's the only thing that's gonna help me be myself man on these lonely nights, man, you only, you only need one thing, man, you know, I don't even know what it is, you know, I really wanted to s- smoke some weed today, but it was, you know what, maybe I don't need it, right, maybe I, did, I don't need it, it was just a random thought, as in a random idea, that I, I didn't really want it to nurture it, nurture it or manifest it, whatever it was, I really don't need it, you know, and it's like, you know what, I'm, I'm not I'm not saying I'm better off of it, but it's like some people get joy out of other people enjoying life. You know, and, it's, and you know what? Who fucking knows, man? <laughs> Who fucking knows? But um dude is like Oh uh, cheers if you're zipping on something, you know, of course. <laughs> Yeah, man, I want to I wanna say thank you to, to Wilo and Mickey Smalls today. That was fucking special. You know, I've been putting hearts on the calendar of the days that it's like, you know what? Out of all these days, this is one of those days that it's like, you know what? Why? Wilo was here with Mickey Smalls, you know? So I'm going to slash out all the days that I forgot to slash out. And, you know, put a heart into that May 12th on Tuesday night, you know? That was really special. That was really nice. Out of the blues. I don't know what else to come up with. You know. Um, I'm getting lazy. You know, I'm getting lazy to the point where I see, you know what? I don't really want to fucking upload anything. You know, I just want to keep it right my, for myself, right? Or I want to be stingy with my content. You know, <laughs> it's like, well. Not really, you know, for sure I'm going to post it up, you know, I told them that I will post it up, and I told them, you know, you are going to hear this in the future, as in maybe less than a week, <laughs> and they're going to hear themselves talk, and they're going to say, you know what, that was a good, that was a good talk, you right, and you see their, you know, you don't see it, but it's like, their energy is different, let's go through that, right, but, um, I don't know, man. I'm going to give it like a, spe- a special intro, I believe. You know? And a special outro or whatever it is. But, um, clock is ticking. Right? All of these fucking motivational clocks and shit, whatever. I really don't have anything to say. But, um, you know, if what are your what you're about to hear was a recording of what we did on may 12th tuesday you know uh the night where i was like not feeling myself you know i was just feeling weird 
So um, hopefully you guys enjoy of this recording or what we came up with. Um, I am going to boost up the levels of volume in it so you could hear yourself, Wido, or Miggy's Moss. So you could hear, you hear yourself perfectly. And um, thank you, man. This it was for you guys. You know, this podcast is for this Miarte. Number 20 was for you guys. And, you know, I want you guys to be in a good place, man. For sure. You know, I want you guys to be all right. I want you guys to be enjoying life too, right? This is not like, oh, my farewell, I'm going to kill myself. No. Nah. This is one of those, hey, Omers. <laughs> You know, it's like, yeah, you know, so um, hopefully you guys enjoy what you're about to hear. And um, I'm going to wrap it up from right here and I'm just going to end it. But um, this was the Mierte podcast number 20, you know, let me go over it again. I'm going uh, to put the recordings after this, whatever I'm going to end it, this outro right now. And after that, I'm just going to, you know, uh, stop recording. You know, I'm just going to seal it up right there. And whatever they say last, all right, you know, or maybe I'll just come up with another Mierte number 20 at the end. You know, a little fucking end commercialized, right? But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Here's here's a recording of uh, May Tuesday, May 12, 2020. Hopefully you guys are, are nice and listening. So... Enjoy. See me? You see me with the bass on? Oh shit. Oh, no. Look at me. I'm managing the team. I'm the youngest. I got people from <laughs> Africa on my team. From Syria. <laughs> I'm really super from close. Egypt. <laughs> really? I got in my team. Yeah. Because. I got a sick. He's from Syria. How come you don't Egypt. make. I'm gonna make you a logo watch. He's a left winger. <laughs> Hey, Omer, oh, dude, we like... our jersey, our plain jersey, we need a logo for Dude, you could mm. freaking... You, you could be our logo. You could be our sponsor. We were, I was <laughs> literally looking like, what the That's fuck do I put? Right there. We won't need your logo, Omer. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Isn't it Let me know like what you want. A sick-ass team logo. If you want it to be like sick. a sportswear, I'll look into it. I'll see what kind of like... There you go. Like Adidas logo. Omer, there's your first fucking job right there. You could... My You're gonna get paid for that shit. Not Global just give me a design. shirt. That's the stupid yeah. word I've been looking for. That's yeah. the job. I was gonna tell you. I was gonna tell you that too. Uh, what? Like, logo like, design. Logo so design? set up on. Logo design. Yeah. I think. And just show them your work. Mm -hmm. like you make custom little stuff. And that's all you gotta do. Show them your resume. Put your resume. How many mm -hmm. years you've been doing? Uh, logo design. Logo design. You've been doing it for like five years. At home, but you can still put it as your experience. Mm -hmm. You don't need to put it in your job. Like more of a, your introduction. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you just need a good set of words and introduce yourself. <laughs> it makes a difference. You're making your own shirts too, white Like no, so, we're gonna buy the jerseys. Mm -hmm. and it's like Adidas or Nike, but it's gonna need the logo of the team here. The, the print. Mm -hmm. The square. And the jersey. It's the, the Nike sign and the mm -hmm. logo, like of Chelsea or Manchester. Oh, dude, that we could even sell that shit. You could sell it. You could sell it, not even we. Like, it has to be one, and that's gonna be able to resist the wash. How, how'd you start it? I was, during this quarantine, I was sitting down, and I was like, I was like, because well, my dad asked me, like, hey, what are you gonna do, like, when all this is over? Like, you should learn something. Mm -hmm. Like, you should pick up on something that you are like, well, I was slacking off on this. So, and I was like, I should make a team again. Because mm -hmm. my dad, like, he's just grinding, like, he's working, working. Mm -hmm. Like, his favorite time here was when Andy played Sundays. Mm -hmm. But when I made the team, that was, like, his favorite. Like, I was just stress free. Oh, he fucking buy us anything after the games, chips, food. Chips, he was happy. Like, that's, that's what mm -hmm. he likes. Because when he was young, he was like, oh, like, you remind me when yeah. I was young. Like, he was the youngest one, too, getting, like, tall ass white people in his team <laughs> to go play volleyball over yeah. the beach. Yeah. And then, like, oh, the that's rooms. tight. Like at my job, like I was, I was telling him like that, it was my first job at AutoZone. I know nothing about cars, and I have the opportunity like to become a manager mm -hmm. already. In my first job, while I was 18 years old. Damn, that's how I went on. Okay, you just gotta do it. Dude. It's <laughs> like me, like my, I never thought I'd be fucking working in the city. That was my like first legit job, you could say. Yeah, I, that I ranked good. up three promotions, dude. That looked good on your resume. 
and I, if, I'm if telling you, you, I did. I ranked up three promotions in, in like two years, and not knowing shit about nothing like customer service. You could even be working at the U.S. Postal Office. Just oh yeah, <laughs> but they do a bunch of freaking paperwork. Yeah, not paperwork, but they drug test you. <laughs> <laughs> they drug test you, and that keeps keeps you from working. That is true. I just need to stay sober. Yeah. It's easy. I can do it. It's yeah. not easy though. It's not, it's, it is easy, but it's not easy. I'm talking about my team, because okay. I made one first, right? We yeah. play so well, but like I'm the youngest one, I'm, I, and I'm stressing about <laughs> older people not being able to give me five bucks. When I come in nice Honda, they work at fucking like, oh, a nice full time job. They don't, they can't give me five bucks. Like I, I know they'll pay me after, but it's not yeah. the same as that day. That day, my dad mm-hmm. ended up paying his own money. Hey, where are we gonna play? What uh, tournament? What, what? I believe we're gonna, we're gonna join the Downey League because of the grass. It's the best grass. My right. friend Jonathan said. Dude, we should start up. You should look into team. that, Whitelaw. Hmm? You should look into that in the fields and how much they charge and they rent. Because if someone else does it, you're gonna end up paying that for. What do you mean? Um, how, how do like you create a whole league? No, not, not, not to create a league, but you have to like investigate how much they, they cost in the individual fields, no? To rent it to play your league. Uh, yeah, that's why like make a whole your own freaking mm-hmm. league. Like make, get a bunch of teams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, where I'm doing, I'm just looking for a league mm-hmm. somewhere. Somewhere we're, we're trying to look. We just have a oh, team. Right oh, now. the team. Oh, yeah. right, right. Today right. I officially. Well, you could do that too. That's money, right? There. And Alan told me he wanted to join my team. Like he was like, "Hey, Danny, he's like, when are you guys gonna start playing?" I was like, "Well, this is over." I was like, "Why?" He was like, "Can I join?" I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "You want to join?" He's like, yeah. He was like, just train me because I'm not that good right now. I haven't played in years. <laughs> I was like, okay. And that same day, we played in the backyard. That's when I told you. Alan, okay, we played. I beat him, but he put up a fucking fight. You should take him. You should take him. That's what he's seen. Take, so take Alan. Don't take me. I won't take Alan. Yeah, take that. Too. Nah, he's going to stay home. He needs to catch up on grades. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to slack me. Oh, oh, that Fortnite, bro. bro. I get it, he's young, he's a freshman. The app is a freshman, but. Yeah, now you can't fuck up in high school. I told him, I told him today, I told him serious, like, Andy. At least if he wants to go to school. I was like, where do you have a C in this class? He's like, it's hard. I was like, Andy. I told him straight up, like, Andy, shut up, it's not hard. I was like, bro, my, our parents literally came here. Maybe he doesn't understand. Our parents, yeah, but our parents literally came here, my dad, like, not knowing a word. Like, they sent you to France. Yeah. <laughs> start school like what the fuck you're gonna start a whole new life in somewhere where you don't even know how to say hi yeah it's probably you, in France you wouldn't know because there's no yeah. one joke or whatever yeah. oh, shit. but fucking and then the next thing you know you're gonna have to learn math over there in France how they teach it and if you see all my dad's report cards when he was in high school That's three days amazing. bro he only had one bad grade it was a D and he was like it was government I hated government <laughs> 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 Besides that, we had A's. I was like, Andy, that was hard. Like, my dad. Yeah, I had an F's and I was still able to do shit. Like, literally, like, not, not gonna lie, I was lacking this semester. I had, like, C's and now they're all B's. Because I was like, fuck, that. my dad did it. My parents did it. Yeah. I was like, that's not hard. Hard was that. And Andy was like, it was easier back then. I was like, Andy, they didn't know English. Mm-hmm. They knew Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know English. Like, that's hard. That's mm-hmm. a challenge. That's fucking. What's hard too is when they had a, when my parents got papers, they make you take a test. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the you have to take it once. Uh, if you fuck up, you you won't get papers. And it, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, my dad was like, my dad was like, the pressure was horrible. He was like, it was, it's something like it's crazy. Like it's either I'm gonna become a U.S. citizen. Yeah. I study, study. Yeah, and, nah, yeah. that's crazy. And did it. No, it's fucking crazy. It's hard. You're studying about a new country. Like, if you want to Germany, you have to yeah, pass a test over there, become legal. If not, you're going to struggle finding a job and supporting your family. That's going to be hard. Mm-hmm. Supporting yourself, period. It's, it's, you won't have anything to get that you want. Nothing. He has a fucking Volvo now, bro. He got his, he got his first car <laughs> that he got here when he came to the U.S. Yeah. That was a Volvo. And he said... You know, because at first I was like, why'd you buy this car? He looks like a dead cop in one, like, in the bag. Yeah, He's sick. like, Danny, when I got this car, it was my first car. It's like a, it's like a success thing he did. I was like, oh, okay. Mm. But yeah, that car is fucking smooth over. Have you ever drive that car? Mm-hmm. Tesla. Yeah, car. With an engine. 
smooth. That's tight. It's a four cylinder. Hmm. Yeah, it is nice. No, I think it's a six cylinder. Really? Yeah, because I think in the back says V6. <laughs> oh, that's nice if it is. The wagging with a V6. Sports mode too. That's tight. Like you put it and you just put the plus in like the minus. Dude, I love wagons. Yeah. <laughs> wagons are sick, like with that box pick. That shit looks tight. I don't know why I feel like one day, like right now, the fucking Tesla. I think my dad's gonna get me one day. They're not that expensive. Especially not if they're going down in price. Or the old ones. But still, like, like when we go to Mexico, like all our cousins mm -hmm. look up to us, like, damn, they're bothered. Like, I wonder how they live. That's just crazy. So, yeah, say, yeah they, take advantage. families are like that. Yes. And then, you have the opportunity to do it, so. Yeah, and they, they also think that you're just made out of money. They, they think it's easy to just come up with dollars, but it's like, you know what? You still gotta pay the bill with dollars. It's like, fuck, you're not just yeah. making bank over here. You're you're kind of doing the same shit over there, right? You're living, but just in a different way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when I was there six months, I was like, fuck, you know, it's like, all right, I can't just not do anything. I gotta use my painting skills and start painting their fucking areas and shit like that. And that's what I started doing. You should do it here. I started uh, painting murals over there. It's like, you know what? This fucking hot ass sun. It's not worth it to be painting shit where they're gonna only pay you a hundred dollars. Well, like, no, right here they'll pay you rags, bro. I know. Over man. there, my cousin, he got a like his fucking doctor's degree, like in mm -hmm. computer. Mm -hmm. And he says like, when you graduate, like he got the best little certificate you can get for computers. That's mm -hmm. like biggest major. He said well, when you pass it, you win shit to Mexico. He was saying, like, you're not shit in Mexico. Like, yeah, you, you, you want a job, go to the U.S. Like, over here in Mexico, it's, it's crap, corruption, favorism. They have their workers mm -hmm. already. Oh, when he retires, mm -hmm. his son, we'll get his son. He knows how it works. He knows how this business is. A family branch, man. It sucks. Mm -hmm. They say it sucks. And they struggle. Like, my cousin, she goes to school four in the morning to the metro, bro. It, like, it's like, so fucking crazy. Yeah, comes back, we have it easy, so. comes back, like, at 12. Goes to sleep, same thing, the whole way, like, non-stop. Wow. Dude, our parents did a lot for us, so you gotta take advantage of it. That's grandpa, how I see it. My grandpa my did. Grandpa, that's what our family My grandpa did. Everyone, yeah. Mm -hmm. Our family my did. Families. You always gotta keep achieving more. They did it for you, you gotta do it for your yourself or your future. Well, just thinking about it, I don't know if you'll be like, damn. I didn't do shit. I'm fucking bro, grandma doing shit. Yeah. And I'm not like, I'm not being like, being that Theo in the family or like, oh, let's go to his house, let's go to my Theo's, he has a nice house, he has a pool, <laughs> he gives the best presents, they do the best parties and shit. Mm -hmm. You got a hustle. They got a house, <laughs> they don't live in the apartment, they got a house. And... Mm -hmm. Grind. You're right, Wailo. You're right, bro. And anyways, I think that's a wrap. I gotta be up early. Damn, we're 20, we gotta get up in a couple hours. I gotta be up earlier. I'm gonna get groceries. Hey, I'm gonna be there. 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 Any last words, Wyden? For the recording, I love you. For your future self? For you. So you can listen to yourself talk? I love you, Miguel, too. <laughs> and I love you. Yeah, if I ever hear this in the future. Right now is like the peak where I can't fuck up. <laughs> so when I hear this in the future, it's either I fucked up. Yeah. Or I did it. <laughs>